Hey everybody, today I'm going, of course, <laughs> of course I hit the tripod. Today I'm going to show you how to use UI collection views with Swift and Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is what we want to accomplish in this tutorial. I just have a collection view filled with a bunch of labels and items that I programmed programmatically. And it just scrolls through and it'll update according to how many labels you have or how many items you have. And you can click on a button and it'll take you over to a scene and then you can move back to it. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty everybody, to get started, let's open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This is going to be a single view application. Click next, and our product name, I am just going to call mine collection, although you can call this whatever you want. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click next and create. Now let's make this a bit bigger and let's head on over to our main.storyboard. Now inside of our main.storyboard, I will later show you how to add a collection view controller inside of this application, inside of an existing project. But right now we're just going to delete this view controller and we're gonna work straight from our collection view controller. So now just click and drag your collection view controller right down here over to your scene. Click on the top white bar right up here and we want to go to our attributes inspector and say is initial view controller. So now this view controller is going to be the first thing that loads up. Now let's head on over to our assistant editor and as you can see there's no file attached so let's make a file attached by just closing up our assistant editor and go over to our view controller.swift. Now inside of this you have a class. Uh, and now this class will control a certain view according to what it is. So we can go class and we'll call this collection view controller. This will just be the name that it's referenced by. And then it'll be of the super class of a UI collection view controller like so. So now we can go back to our main.storyboard and we can go click on our collection view controller. For some reason that did not change. Let's go back, click on the top white bar, is the initial view controller. Let's click on this right here and we're going to click on... It looks like a little page right here. It is our identity inspector. And go over to your class, and we're gonna change this to whatever we named our class in our viewcontroller.swift. Now go head on back to your main.storyboard. And as you can see, we have the class perfectly aligned. Now, one thing we want to edit is this cell right here. So I'm just gonna click and drag, make this cell the size I want. You can also click on this cell, go over to your size inspector right over here, and you can make it the width and height and just see if that's the way you want it. So I'll we'll make my width 140 by 140. Random numbers, you can make this however you want. Now let's go ahead and click and drag a label onto our view cell right there. And as you can see, you're not going to be able to see, to see that. So click on your collection view cell, head on over to your attributes inspector, and we're just gonna change the background color of our, of our cell just to a nice blue color. Now let's head on back over to our assistant editor. And that did not load properly, so if you want to switch this up, click on our, our manual. And okay, that didn't load up properly. Okay, let's head on over to our viewcontroller.swift and we're going to edit things over here. So in order to do this, let's just say uh, collection view controller and it'll be cell for item at index path. This will sound very familiar to how you would work with table views. So you want to say cell for item at index path and we want to put how many index how many rows of cells there are going to be. So in order to do this uh, I like you can re go right in here and say return three. Now that will work Actually, th this is different than what I was thinking of. Okay, so right up here, you want to say collection view, and this is number of items in section. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So number of items in section is going to c put how many items or how many cells do you want inside of your collection view. So now just tab all that in, and now we have this function. And inside of this, you can just say return three. So now we're going to have three of these collection views that you have right here with the labels and everything. And then down here, we want to edit those ta those cells that we have. In order to do this, we just say var, and we'll call this cell equals collection view dot deck reusable cell with, with reuse identifier. And we're going to make this reuse identifier, and we'll just call this cell. So this is what we're going to reference whatever cells we want to edit. 
inside of our collection view controller. And for index path, and we're just going to call this index path. And where I'm getting this from is the index path is right up here. And we're also getting the collection view right up here where it's being called on the UI collection view. And then we're going to, right after this, just say as UI collection view cell. So we're returning that as a cell and then go down here and say return cell. So what this means is anything inside of the heap between here where it's created and between here, it's going to return this cell over to the UI collection view cell for the index path. So now if we were to uh, build and run this right now, we would actually have three, three collection views and we're getting an error. So, oh yeah, we need to go back over to our main.storyboard and we need to actually call this with our reuse identifier that we called it. So inside of this, this would just be cell. As you can remember, that was in our viewcontroller.swift and it, this is the deck reusable cell with identifier cell. And also be sure to that it's it's case sensitive, so be sure that it's capitalized properly. Now let's make this, a bit, let's go ahead, build and run. And as you can see, now we have three cells with three labels. Now you might be wondering, well, I want to edit those labels, or I also want to build how many cells depending on an array. So in order to do this, you would just say var array equals, and then you go open bracket, close bracket, and inside of these brackets, you just want strings, we'll say. And then outside of these brackets, you add your uh, parentheses just so you can instantiate it. Now let's go down here. And we want to say cell dot, or actually, this will be, yeah, cell dot, and this is going to be view with tag. And then we need to go back over to our main dot storyboard, click on our label right here, and right down here you will see this specific thing called tag. Now this tag will be a specific, specific tag for whatever label we want to reference. So we'll call this, we'll just put the tag as one. Now go down here to your, go over here to your viewcontroller.swift and we'll make the tag one. And then we say as UI button. So again, I forgot to do one more thing. This is going to be the var button is equal to cell dot view with tag as UI button. So basically we're creating a button referenced off of the tag that we created in our main dot storyboard and then we're setting it as a UI button. So now we can edit this button just by simply saying button dot uh, text or sorry this was a UI label so we need to say UI label and then we go down here to our button and say UI button dot text will now be equal to our array for our index path dot row open bracket close bracket index path dot row so now let's go ahead and add stuff to our array and you can say array is equal to open bracket close bracket and we're going to add some strings so open quotation mark close quotation mark comma open quotation mark close quotation mark we'll just add four of these so now we have this one we'll just put in some random letters and there you have it. Now let's head on over to our main.storyboard. And one thing that's cool, you can actually right click or control click and drag from our label. And we can center this horizontally, center it vertically. And then we're just gonna make this a bit bigger so it fits the whole scene. And we don't want the lab label to be out like that. So now if we were to build and run this, actually not yet. Actually, yeah, if we built and ran this right now, we can see that it's going to build three, three cells with their specific names according to each cell. Now again, I said return three earlier, and we need to actually count this array. So in order to do this, it's just easily array.count. So now we're counting how many objects are inside of this array that we created, and we're building like so. And now you can see we have four cells uh, referencing four different items. So now if we were, uh, if you wanted to add more, we could easily just add more by copying and pasting like so, and you can build and run that. And now we will count how many items are in this array, and it'll add a scroll view as well. So now we can scroll through all these items. 
Now, let's say you wanted a label and you also wanted another label. Uh, actually, we'll add a button. And you wanted this button as well. So now, if you wanted this button, you could take this button, and if you wanted to move over to a view controller like so, anytime this button was pressed, you can just right click or control click and drag from that button, and we'll say show. Let's add another button over here so we can go back and forth. Actually, not. let's not add a button. Let's go up here and we're going to add a navigation controller. And as you can see, we have two linked controllers. And we'll just click on this second controller that it's linked with, grab our navigation controller, and now we're going to right click or control click and drag from our navigation controller. And right over here, you'll see relationship segue, and we want a root view controller. Now we can add this arrow, which is the arrow that says this will be your starting position, and we're just gonna reference that right over there. And as you can also see that our UI controlled table view cell, our, yeah, our table view cell is being pushed down, and then we're also adding items on like so. So now if we were to build and run this right now, actually we wouldn't get a button on everything. Let's Let's add another array so we can actually change the text of the button. So we say var button array will be equal to our string, like so. And we'll just say button array dot, or button array is equal to, and we'll just take whatever we have right here and paste that in. So now we have this array. And then go down here and we'll actually take this button that we created and we'll, we'll change this variable that we created right here. We're gonna change this to label. And now we're gonna just say label.text. And now let's go down here and say var button is equal to cell dot view with tag. So I didn't create a tag. So let's go back to our main dot storyboard, click on our button. And now you will see that we have our tags right down here as well. So we can just change the tag of this to two. Now if we head back over to our view controller dot swift, we can say var button cell dot view with tag and our tag will be equal to two. And this time we say as UI button. As this is a button now, and we're calling it again as a button, and we can say button button dot title 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 label dot text will now be equal to our, uh, our button array for the index path dot row. So now we're taking out our out of our button array according to what we have. Now I forgot to add a question mark dot so this should be title label question mark dot text is equal to button array for the index path dot row, which is counted right up here. Now let's go ahead, build and run, and we should get our button also created with the names that we created up there. And now I'm not too sure why that didn't happen. Okay, now let's go back down here. Sorry, this was the wrong way to actually change the button title. You actually need to say button dot set dot set title. And our title will be our button button array for the index path dot row and this is going to be the for control state ui control state state dot normal so when it's just built and ran it's going to set the ta the title of each of these buttons to a specific or button array or the specific name of the part of the array that we have recreated at this specific part. So now we have all these buttons named alongside these names and we can click on our button, go back and forth between view controllers like so. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this for me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use UI control, what are these, oh, collection views, right.